Now on the back of this phone, you also have that single camera setup, which we'll go ahead and hit on right now. It is a single five megapixel sensor, and obviously, I don't think anybody's going to be using this type of camera lens anymore. It's a very basic camera at best. You can only shoot 720p videos on it as well. But as I said before, I don't really think anybody's purposely like using this type of camera in this day and age. I think people kind of look at it kind of as more of like a novelty factor than anything else. And I think that's something that's, you know, common sense. You know, nobody's going to be using a 2010 phone in this day and age. But I think something that's extremely important to hit on is more so than the back camera camera, it's the front camera. This was one of the most important things about this device for sure. When you had a phone that had the first front camera on any device, that was seriously something that was very, very impressive in my opinion. Now it is a single VGA camera, however you want to say it. I think technically it's like a 0.3 megapixel sensor on the front, but still that's a huge thing about this device. And when it came down to the camera, I don't even really care about the quality on this type of phone. It's just the fact that it even has the camera on the front, which is just crazy in and of itself. So for an 11 year old device the camera quality probably isn't that great but i still love it and in terms of the camera it gets a thumbs up for me in my books just for the fact of what this camera brought for sure so so in terms of the camera setup that pretty much covers it up now moving on to the software side of things